Luton says via text, John, thanks for coming to our club. You've done such a great job in the short time since you've been here. You have united the place. You were just the type of person we needed at our club, honest and reliable. Uh, what's, uh, what do you still think you needs to be done at the club to make it into the club that you envisaged? Well, you know, it, it, you know, I'd like I'd like to think that whenever you leave a club, you, you leave something behind you, and it's really important. You know, as I said when I first come, and I know some people perhaps didn't like what I said. I said I'm not a quick fix. You know, if we get when we get success, not if we when we get success, it's, I want it to be sustainable, and I want it to carry on. I just want it to, to, to keep growing, and it's important that you keep planting the seeds. And you've got to give it a little bit of sun and a little bit of rain and you've got to give it all the things that can help it grow and you know I, i'm going to be honest i wouldn't i wouldn't have come to luton town football club to get them into the football league because i was in the football league there was no um, why would i do that it was to get them up the leagues that you know got to make something happen for them that can get them beyond division two you know i've been in division one i've been in division two you know, so that wasn't the challenge for me, I'll be honest with you. It, it was to start something off that will see the club rise through the leagues. That's the big thing for me. You mentioned there that you know some fans didn't, maybe didn't like the, it, it might not be a quick fix. Mm. Do you care what the fans think, what they say? Yeah, of course I do. You know, it, you know, I, you know, at the end of the day, what I do is I'm a supporter, and I'm a supporter of football clubs. You know, I'm. A, I am a Dagenham supporter. I've got, you know, I have to say that I'm a West Ham supporter. Brought up with West Ham and Dagenham, they're the two teams that I supported, and I do care what supporters think. But I can't be influenced by them because the job isn't about that. You know, you know, if if you're a manager and you have the greatest respect to to us here at Luton, I don't know, we get six, seven, eight, nine, possibly there's fifteen thousand, even more, what we'll call this old supporters of the club. You know, more than that, I'm never going to satisfy all them people. You know. The, the only person I have to satisfy is myself. I have to know that I have done the best job possible. Um, but of course I care what supporters, you know, because I'm a supporter. You know, I go and watch West Ham play. If West Ham don't do great, I'm not happy. And when they do do great, I'm delighted. But I also understand that you're never going to please all of the people all of the time. You know, I just hope I can please lots of people some of the time. That was a, a bit of a masterstroke, though, I thought, with the, with the fan that criticised uh, the club and criticised one of your players. I thought mm. that, you know, that, 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 that was almost a little... There was something there, something happened there that united the whole, the whole yeah. club, including the fans. You know, I don't know whether you feel the same. Yeah, no, I, I do, you know. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think that... You know, it was put to me. I, I'll be honest, I haven't really experienced it, even when I've come last season, like negativity when the team isn't doing well. I hadn't really experienced it, you know. Uh, perhaps a touch, but not really, you know. And I'm, you know, sensible enough to know that when you don't do well, supporters are not happy. But, you know, I, I said a thing, I think some of you lads were, were down there, when, when I was saying about, I was writing out a, a thing yeah. that on, on progress for the football club, which I do when I go to a club. I write, I, I write that out, and it's just funny that. I had some of that stuff with me. And just saying that, you know, reverse psychology and, you know, reverse trends. You know, if teams come to Luton and say, if we keep the, if we keep them, you know, under the cost for 20 minutes, we don't give them too much, the crowd turn. And they use that as a plus. But what if the crowd don't turn? What, what are they going to do? They've got to find something else that they're going to do. So, you know, I think support was bought into that a little bit. And I know Ronnie had the altercation with the, the, the young man and, we decided, well, if you've you know, got a little bit of a complaint, because we had a little bit of a complaint, but we won the game. We actually come back in what I thought was an unbelievable atmosphere, and I think he probably felt that as well. So I think having the little talk and that, I think that the whole thing, I think you know, people looked at the, the situation and thought, well, hold on a minute. We were behind. We were 3-1 behind at one stage. And by and large, the crowd was good, the support was good, and they got behind the team. And I think they're seeing that, you know, to give your whole support for 90 minutes. When it's over, if you haven't done well, the supporters are going to vent a little bit of frustration. Well, that's football, I understand that. But while the game's going on, this is your team. It's not my team. You know, I'm, I'm looking after your team for you. And I need every bit of help I can get. Because if you've seen over the past few years, it hasn't quite happened for Luton Town. Well... Maybe, and I'm not saying it is, I wasn't here, you know, to be part of the team is a fantastic thing. You know, don't alienate yourself for the team. Be the team. Be part of that team. Because if we get promotion, it won't be the team that does it. 
It won't be the directors that do it. It won't be the management that do it. And it won't be the supporters. It'll be all of us. That's our team. They're our team. Simple as that.